Hi, hi, hi. Trying to get everything situated. I am back today on this lovely Sunday of October the 15th. Hi, everyone. Hi, hi. I hope you all are having a wonderful, blessed Sunday. I am going to have um, this particular live to be pretty short. Not going to take too long. Uh, when I was trying to think about what I was going to do today. Um, hey, honey girl. Well, I was thinking about what I was going to do today. Um, I forgot that I talked about my past life in the bad community where I focused on one particular brand at that time because it was really affordable for me. I was in grad school. I was living on my own. I was just like, this is what this particular brand was catching my eye. At the time, I was kind of going like through this dark phase, I guess, in my world. And I just gravitated towards the sack. I really did. I gravitated towards it. I loved it. And so I'm just going to briefly show you some of the bags that I collected. And I think it's a couple of bags that my mom had. And she was just like, oh, I think probably early this year, she said, well, I'm just going to get rid of these. I was like, no, these are iconic for me. Like, don't do that. I always wanted your bags. So, you know, with the sack, um, they're crocheted. And the way that they're crocheted is just really unique to me. I like it. It's not like your standard, let me sit and crochet. I have an aunt that crochets. Oh, she is just beautiful with crocheting. Quilts, blankets, all that kind of stuff. She'll she'll get creative and do some other things as well. Um, but I've never asked her, hey, can you make me a bag, make me a purse? So it's a little bit different when we, we're talking about um, those that crochet at home, in my opinion. Uh, and so... And going through my collection of bags, I was just like, man, I've always had a particular obsession with um, certain silhouettes or just particular styles. And this happened to be like my first one. This was a crossbody. I love it. I will still carry this today. I have no problem with that because every now and then I just want to get this crossbody. Hey, says what? Uh, and I just love, love it. It's the color navy. It's reminiscent of some of the Dooney and Burt crossbodies that I have. And I guess truthfully, aside from my first crossbody that I got in Dooney, I think I really went crazy with loving crossbodies based on the fact that I had this beautiful sack. Sack, um, and this has not this has been in storage. I've been keeping it in this plastic bag, vacuum sealed. Uh, and I I really need to polish the, um, the um, oh my gosh, can't even think of them. The emblems or what have you, the tags on here, the zipper pull. I like how they did this with the sack because you got the sack on here. It's not just sack, it's the sack. Uh, the inside material, I can flip it out. For the most part, I kept this clean. Not an issue. Just came with a little zipper compartment and then the rest of it was just the bag itself. Uh, and so that's, of course, what makes it a little bit different than just your regular crochet. And it's crocheted very tight. You can't even see in between the lines of the crochet too well. This flap, you can see it because it doesn't have a lining in it, but it's just a beautiful, beautifully made uh, bag. And so I got this one and then I went and got me a wallet because I was like, oh, I need a wallet. I couldn't find it in Navy. I remember that. So I got black. And when I tell you this thing is worn, it truly is. I look at the, um, the threading or the just everything. Just It's just all just really crazy looking uh, the ID card part here it has some slot compartments here of course you put your bills here I like how it has the lining of the word the sack all over it if you can see it uh, also it has this outside zipper compartment oh let's see what I, I always going to find some, some past life treasures in here oh and I still have this little net flying around. So I needed some, I guess, something for my ID. And I got some change in here. A nickel and a dime. We're going to take that all out. 
Oh, oh, wow. This is a link to a fossil watch. I don't know where my fossil watches, watches are right now. I'm going to have to go and find it and put that back with it. A penny. I thought I had a dime in here. <laughs> but this was the double compartment with the gussets of this wallet. Love it, love it. You've had a few as well, sus. I just loved sack. I really, the sack. Let me make sure I say the sack. I really, truly love the sack. And of course, you still have um, how this is wonderfully made. Look at the shape of that, how they cut that. My fingers, my cuticles are dry out. Um, but I love how they just did that with the zipper pull. Button closure. Let's see. My mom, she had these bags. I always loved them, but they weren't big enough in my opinion. They were nice shoulder bags. So she had one in navy, and I think this one is khaki. So these are really, really nice. I think these are cute um, to carry still for today. I mean, they're still in business. It's not like they've gone away. Um, they have like this bohemian style of, of bags. If you're liking to the eclectic piece of life, side of life. So she has this and I think she had this one. Now, I don't know what she was doing with this, but she carried this one and it had this particular patchwork on the front of it. So it felt like kind of suede or it is suede on the front. And then the back of the bag has is crochet. Nice bag in the color brown. You see how the strap is made on here. Crocheted on the top. Different on the bottom. Still like they had their little standard set up. But it included not only the zipper compartment. And I, let me see. I like to always flip it out to see it better. But they also had um, their slots. Slot compartments here. So you have here. In here, I thought they had. Oh, they do have one in the middle for your pen. So they had that in this bag. Really, really, really nice. Really, really nice. And so she had those three. And then I continued to collect. I ended up getting this little crossbody because I thought it was just really cute. And it was until this came off. And then I was hurt. My feelings were really hurt because it was connected to this zipper pool and I really liked it. So I said, well, let me just take it off and make sure that I don't lose this tassel. So I probably fell in love with tassels with um, carrying this bag. This particular bag, which still had some goodies in it. Oh, and that's the other little piece to that to keep it connected. This little bag had some card slots uh, automatically and it had a little slot compartment I could fit my little Motorola flip there and then it had these card compartments on the side so I really didn't need a wallet oh I'm gonna have to go through and see what what some of those receipts say this one was a little bit smaller than my first one let me put this all back in here because I'll try to figure out how to get that back together but it was a little bit smaller than this one I didn't carry it as much because of that. And so I got out of that one. Then I found this one. So I was like, oh, I love peace signs. Went through that phase in my life where I really, truly love the peace sign. And so I started to um, really just love this particular bag. It really wasn't the color I wanted. It was in the color or it is in the color brown. But I love the peace sign. And of course, this tassel. You still in that phase? I am from time to time. I'll go back to it. It's just in other items and other ways, I guess I kind of utilize it. Then I remember probably about 10 years ago. I was like, I'm tired of these lacrosse bodies. Let me upgrade and get something more. So I ended up going to the store and I found this one. This one was my little cute. Um, bag. Don't know what the name of it was or is, but I love this particular bag until I felt like I ruined it with an ink stain, and then I stopped carrying it. They had this. It's like a like 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 
it's like a tote. Um, the sack symbol is on the side of it. I like how they did that. It had a zipper compartment. I don't know whether in the front or the back. Still got some goodies in here. Let's see. That looks to be... Okay, I remember when I carried this based off of this particular receipt. Oh, I really truly... all oh, this brings back memories. Uh, yeah, so it has that on the outside. And on the inside, still like that, that standard set up let's see i can't pull that one out because it was more secured and that ink stain i really see how it is but it had like or it has a slot compartment it still has something for your pen and all that in there love this one love the color of it didn't have feet or anything it had like a little little reinforced bottom then I said, whoo, I want me a backpack. So I went and got this backpack because it was in the color green. And I was like, probably when I fell in love with Kelly Green. Love this little backpack. I think I probably stopped carrying this just a few years ago. There's some change in here and some more trash stuff. I The work that I was doing at the time, I needed crayons for kids. And so I just put the crayons in here. I just didn't care. It's dusty. I need to clean it. Um, have some little ink stains on here. So that's probably why I stopped carrying it. But I loved it. I loved it when I went out of town just to have something for the little kids. Um, things I need to keep up with. Love this backpack. It was Kelly green color and the blue mixed together. Love it, love it, love it. The last bag I purchased. The last bag and the last accessory that I purchased. I love this. I love this. I have been looking to find some more and um, some other colors. I was going to get some a couple of years ago and just did not go ahead and do that. Um, but every now and then, I will use this as my catch-all because I really, really love the colors. Oh, just love them all. I love how this is made. And then if it's just so fun to carry as your wristlet because it's just it's different. It's cute. So I purchased this, and then I had to get this one. They switched it up on me with the hobo. They switched it up on me. They created this particular um, handle or strap with it, and it's detachable. And so I said, this was really, well, this would be really cool to carry. So I um, purchased this one. I felt like this one was big enough for me. And to be honest, I'll probably carry this soon because I really do like this particular hobo. It's nice and big, and it fits a lot. Let me see if there's any treasures that I've left in here. It's usually just some trash, so I'm going to check my receipts. Apparently, I went to the Gap and purchased something, <laughs> and I have that in here. But um, the slot compartment's got some flossers. The slot compartment, a Sharpie, is different on these because it has a little bit of an elastic pull to it. So it was a little bit different. Still had that zipper compartment. Still has the sack sewn into that. I got some more stuff in the pocket. Probably something I was looking for. Hand sanitizer. Never going to stop with hand sanitizer. <laughs> um, and I went to the movies and saw Despicable Me Too. Yeah, part two. Got the receipts here. And I had to take in my niece and nephew because it's just only three receipts. So we went to see that movie. Who knows? I probably used this to go and bring some other additional things in there. <laughs> um, but I like the fact that they switched it up by showcasing the sack here. And then on the back, they have it. Whereas that's another part of their, um, their symbol or emblem or what have you. And so I like this bag too. So, yeah, I went through it, the set. That was my go-to bag once upon a time. It was affordable for me. I enjoyed carrying it. I'm going to pull some of that out uh, and carry those bags. So, as my caption said for today's live, I got a small, small, real, 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 real small reveal. Of course, I've been pushing and sharing with you all the various bags and accessories that's been on sale on ILD. It was some real good stuff over the last couple of weeks. I mean, some real, real nice items. And I think that's just a prelude to 
the Black Friday sales or um, just all the holiday sales that will be happening shortly. So it gives you a great idea of what to work with. I think a lot of those prices still will come down um, based on the history of the past. For me, just kind of going back and looking at a variety of videos and looking at pricing and looking at my receipts. I still haven't shown you all my receipt uh, binder. But I'm going to showcase this right now if I can get it out. Let's see. This is my box. Can you guess what's in this box? Look at it. Can you guess? Can you guess? Not anything too big, of course. But I think it's mighty in, in, in what it is, though. I really, truly believe it is. And hopefully, because it's just two items, hopefully um, everything is in here. Because, you know, sometimes it, it doesn't come like that. But from what I am gathering, it is. Now, what I purchased happens to be silhouettes that I already have. I just wanted a different color. And here we have some lovely coupons. Let me tell y'all, I just been sitting over here collecting stuff. I still have all the sports ones sitting in a stack to my left. But we got this and we got that. Y'all know what this is. <laughs> I had to do it, y'all. I told y'all I'm about to be on this purple kick. And getting these bags once they have them out. I'm, I'm here for it. And this is the Hunter and Plum Wine. I spoke about it. It came out. I said I have to have it. I waited. Got it where I want it as far as the price. I'm just all over the place with stuff right now. I'm trying to get to this bag because I've been wanting this in this Plum Wine. Oh, and it feels so good. Oh, wow thing about doing the live um when i'm taking stuff off the handles or the straps you know you have all this or this other plastic on there and it takes a minute this one this little foam thing is easier to take off in my opinion just rip it and it's off i got me a hunter in the plum wine <sighs> y'all i'm telling you this is probably one of the best versatile crossbody that you can purchase. Girl, honey, honey girl, you need to go. I hope you got some stuff in plum wine. Pebble grain plum, plum wine is just beautiful to me. It really is. Um, this hunter is just a, it's a feel. It's a, it's a beautiful carry. And if you don't want to carry it as a crossbody, you can shorten this strap and make it into a shoulder bag. That's the other beauty. It's a three-in-one. You got a crossbody, you got a shoulder, and then you have a clutch. Take the straps off. Say, forget that. I don't want the straps. Let me cut this off. I don't want the straps. I just want to be left alone. <laughs> um, I don't want the straps. I just want to carry it under my arm or... You know, I just don't want to be bothered with it. So you can carry it as a clutch. Oh, just beautiful. And if you want to, like sometimes I do with a lot of my crossbodies, if I'm tired of carrying it as a clutch, I keep my strap inside. So you can figure out how to do that as well. This Hunter is just such a very versatile and convenient bag and it's not overloading because of the compartments that it has two zipper compartments this middle part portion you can put your phone in the middle of that it's just a wonderful wonderful feel a wonderful carry wonderful 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 so i'm not gonna go into this too much longer because i have talked about this bag um i do have it in the color clementine or the orange and I still have my mind set on getting some more because this is probably, I want to say this is my favorite crossbody, but I do like the Halley. I like this saddle. I love it all. I'm not going to sit here and discriminate. 
I love them all. I love it. I love how this magnetic closure, it just goes to it. You don't have to worry about trying to make sure that it is closed. Um, it has this outside compartment as well. This purple is beautiful. I'm going to carry it around the house now because I finally got the plum wine. Yes. Okay. So my other, other little small reveal and I have to make sure that this is what it is because I probably, I have so many different things in my car. Okay. <laughs> now, there's a story behind this one. So, I shared with you all that this particular silhouette was on sale. They only had three colors in Florentine. I went, put all three in my cart. I got distracted and started doing something else. When I came back, two of those three colors were gone so i said i shouldn't even told y'all about it <laughs> but it's, it's okay oh wow this is beautiful. This, is beautiful. this is the slim wallet in the color teal ah beautiful i i gotta figure out the words to describe things the slim wallet happens to be a very nice um feel for me as well when i don't want to feel like my wallet is bulky uh, that i want to feel the wallet um can definitely carry everything that i need for it to carry and it still feels lightweight when you put everything in it uh it comes with several slot compartments you have six at the bottom you have six at the top. You have this slot compartment for bills or receipts at the bottom. And at the top, you have two additional areas. You can put your bills or receipts or whatever the case is. And then on the back of it, you still have another uh, compartment, zipper compartment put, to put your change. A little gusset there. But I try not to overload it because I want to maintain this slim fit. I currently only have this in um, pebble grain. I think I have two colors in pebble grain. I love this. Aside from the zip around and the coin, the large coin case and the small coin, all of the accessories, you just, there's something there that just catches and grabs you and you feel like, it's really diverse in your carry of you with your bags. I just love it. I really do. So I hope you all cop this. Um, let's see. It was on sale for 89 bucks. And let me tell y'all something else. If you go to duty.com, they currently have the slim wallets and pebble grain. They have a lot of colors. I think when I just checked some of those colors left, cause I was looking for the mustard mustard was on there. It is, disappeared but i'm anticipating that it will be back i'm anticipating that on somebody's wallet wednesday sale and i said somebody's just doing it in bird i think this will be on there i at least hope that it will be on there um both the florentine and the pebble grain i would love to see this in navy greta y'all oh we oh we this would be so beautiful but this is just a, a wonderful color um, I have my teal hobo that I'm, I'm matching this up with. I think that's the only thing I have in the color teal in Florentine. Um, do I have, um, I don't think I have anything else. So I am like looking forward to this. Oh, that's the other one. Thank you for saying this, says what? I think that was the first one that I bought. The Slim Wallet and the DB75. That's when I truly fell in love with it because I had no idea. I had no idea. I think right now, if you don't have the premium, YouTube premium, you're going to see ads pop up. And I have my other stuff running. And so now I can see that y'all just endured a, an ad. Um, I like how it gives me that notification. So if I just kind of want to pause and not continue, because I don't want you to miss out. But I do encourage you all. If you all stay on YouTube a great deal, go ahead. If it's in your budget, though, if it's in your budget, go ahead and invest in doing the premium so you don't have to deal with ads. I Everything, every app I got, aside from some of the free ones, 
This and it all depends if I watch them frequently. I don't want to see ads. I promise you, I don't want to see ads. <laughs> so I have invested in a premium on YouTube that option, but I'm happy they let me know when y'all gonna see these ads because that's something that they're starting to roll out. You'll be seeing that a lot more on YouTubers' channels. Some of them probably will run it frequently and to the point you just like, I don't even want to watch this anymore. I can um, put my suggestion as to how I want these ads to run. And so I, what I'm going to do intentionally when I'm doing my live and I see that it pops up, I don't want you all to miss out on anything. I don't want you to have to catch up or whatever, replay later to go and figure out what did I, what was I talking about? But I suggest, I truly suggest that you all go ahead and invest if your budget allows for the premium um, option with your YouTube. It's worth it to me. You don't have to wor worry about them ads. You don't have to worry about trying to skip. It just, it's better that way. But anywho, these, uh, and I don't have them over here. Yeah, I got a big old bucket. And mine is probably really minimal compared to some other YouTubers. Hi, Emerald Gold. Happy to have you here today. Um, I have a big bucket full of accessories. And of course, I've shared my goal and my hope for the future that I'm able to have it um, displayed a whole lot better. But right now, everything is in that tub. And so whatever is out is what I carry the most at this point. This one will stay out. I don't care if it matches the bag or not. It's going to stay out and I'm going to rock it. This past week, I been carrying my large satchel, my plum wine satchel. So now this week, I need to switch it up. And figure out what I want to carry because it's not going to be a crossbody. I still haven't carried my beautiful elephant uh, Florentine drawstring bag because I just, the color, I love it, but I could just don't have anything to wear with it. That's just my mind telling me that because I do want it to match. Um, but yeah, they, these are my little lovely newbies to the collection. I'm excited with this. Um, there are some things that are on sale on db and let me tell y'all this is how i operate the way that i share my suggestions is based on if i would purchase it and i probably shouldn't do that because what i will purchase you probably wouldn't and vice versa so i decided i probably need to stop doing that however what i will do i will suggest to you based on a particular price point so if it's below $200 and I think it's a nice size bag and it's originally priced in the four and $500 range, I'm going to share that with you because I think it's a great time to purchase that bag. <clears throat> if it's some accessories that I think that should be under $40, $30, I'm going to push that to you. I'm going to let you know that I think that's probably a better choice to go ahead and get that now. Um, such as with these Slim Wallets, uh, and I hate that they've taken this off. I wish they would bring it back where it used to have um, it used to have the prices on here. But with those wallets, it's Florentine, so they're high. I want to say they're one fifty eight or something to that degree. But to get them for eighty nine bucks, that was a that was a steal. Florentine. Now. If I were to compare it to like getting the bag, because remember the hobos were on sale earlier um, this year. They were 89 bucks. Yeah, you basically just bought a hobo with this. Uh, but it's well worth it. It's well worth your collection or putting that in your collection because it's Florentine. You can't go wrong with that. It's going to patina as much as you carry it. It's going to patina over time. And it's just going to be this beautiful, luxurious leather, smoother leather for you um, to the point where someone is going to like be like, can you just give it to me or sell it to me? I ran into a lady at my training um, that I conducted on Monday. And she said, aren't you the lady? They have all the doonies. <laughs> so I just laughed. I said, yeah. She said, aren't you tired of your bags yet? I was like, no, ma'am. She's like, well, don't you want to sell me a bag? No, ma'am. That's what you're supposed to do. When you get tired of your bag, you're supposed to sell. I said, ma'am, I'm not tired of my bags yet. Not one. I know you got a lot of them. I love all of my bags. I'm not ready to get rid of any of them. <laughs> so I thought that was funny to me. Like, oh, my gosh. Because she was carrying a navy 
Greta, um, Greta tote. And I see every time I see her, she has that. I mean, she is carrying that thing faithfully, the straps of patina and everything. And so I love to see it, you know, see it because it's in the Navy Greta. But she was just like, then I thought, well, maybe I should, hey, Deluxe. I said, well, maybe I should just bring her one, you know. And I thought, but if I bring her one, I can't be too inconspicuous with it. So then everybody's going to want one because she's not the only one that sees my bags. <laughs> so I said, well, I'm going to have to figure out how to get her a bag uh, because I'm not going to sell my bag. I'm sorry. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not ready to do that in my life just yet. I haven't gotten there yet. So. I am hoping that you all have, are having a wonderful, wonderful October. Yeah, I, I feel you on that too, sus. <laughs> um, but yeah, have you all experienced going to the fair just yet this year? I know they, I don't think it's always the same fair that travels across the country. I think that there are, some of them are. And then others aren't. So October October is usually fair month. So have you all gone to the fair just yet? What's your favorite thing that you like to go to the fair and do? Or do you just like to go and eat? Because I just want me a foot long corn dog. <laughs> and a candy apple and some candy. Um, cotton candy. That's what I want. Hopefully I'll get to the fair um, this next weekend. This weekend was so busy and I got a lot of stuff I need to be doing today. That's why I said I wasn't going to be on here long, but hey, I'm 31 minutes into this right now. <laughs> and so I'm having a good time. As always, what I need for you all to do, those that are here, definitely like this video. Don't forget to like it. I don't really stress it too much, but definitely like the video. Uh, continue. I appreciate you all continuing to support um, this channel um, with everything that I'm putting out there uh, and everything that I'm just doing. I just enjoy you all support a great deal. Y'all just, y'all don't understand. Y'all just mean the world to me. I hope to meet some of you all one day because uh, I'm slowly trying to get on back out there with traveling and all that good stuff. And I'm hoping that we can, or whoever puts on some type of gathering for Dooney and Burke. Um, lovers and, and carriers and supporters and uh, consumers of Dooney and Bert that we can get together and do something. I think it'd be pretty dope to see some of the newer people that have gravitated and started to share and really pop up. If you haven't done so already, definitely go and uh, subscribe to a couple of uh, of uh, YouTubers channels like Deluxe. Help her get on over the hump. Uh, Anita's Favorites just recently uh, accomplished a great milestone of getting to a thousand. Help Deluxe. Help, um, I think Robin Cook is another that uh, is trying to get on up there. Help them on now. Share their, their, their information because they have, I love everybody's perspective of their content. Uh, and so share and, and, and upgrade and help them get on over that hump. Um, if you haven't subscribed to Suz What's page, and y'all, I just go and subscribe to everybody. I don't care if you got one subscriber. I'm subscribing to your page because one day you might just decide that, hey, let me go ahead and start posting some stuff too. <laughs> um, but definitely go out and support. Deluxe said we had the Chuck Fest out here. Oh, so y'all, you in Louisiana, huh? You, you got to be in Louisiana because nobody's going to be talking about fried gators, but Louisiana. <laughs> in the boot, fried gator on the stick. I can't do it. I can't do it. I just, mm -mm, I don't know. Did you taste that? How does, does it taste like chicken? <laughs> I cannot do it. I don't know about that one. Somebody gonna probably have to trick me in order for me to taste that. And it has to really, truly look like chicken. <laughs> I think that's probably how I ended up eating um, an oyster or something. It, it was looking like chicken. But it wasn't too bad. But it was just the idea beforehand. Like, oh, yeah, that's oyster. What? Oysters and clams. I think it's oysters that produce the pearls. I don't want to have to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm goofy, y'all. I'm goofy. 
But anywho, uh, yeah, I hope y'all get to go to a fair or a festival for the fall. Get outside and enjoy this beautiful weather because this is my favorite time of year. When I tell you, I was just like every day I was hoping summer would be over with. And now that it is, I'm out there. I'm like, yeah, let me go outside. And I could just sit out there for hours now and not even be bothered. Just love it, love it, love it. One day I might try Gator. I just hadn't been bold enough, D. I have not. I don't know. And see, you right next door to me. You are right next door. So we we have um, in Mississippi a lot of different things catered to the Gator. <laughs> catered to the Gator. <laughs> I have seen that whenever I go to the Delta, they talk about uh, even frog legs. Who eats that? Who would want to see a frog hop and then eat it? I don't know. That's not my thing. I can't do it. I mean, I'm going to stick to the basic. We're going to get this chicken. We'll get some of this cow. And we're going to get some of this turkey. And then we're going to fry some fish. <laughs> That's it. I'm not trying to do too much else. <laughs> But I am done with my live for today, everyone. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Definitely set up your bell notifications. I'm here every Sunday at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, unless I decide to just not come on, I will let you know ahead of the game. Uh, but you all have a wonderful, beautiful, beautiful day. Because it's still sunny out there. I'm looking right now trying to see what I can get into. But I really need to get into my school book, y'all. I got so much stuff to do. Anybody want to do some homework? Let me know. <laughs> and I'll see you all next Sunday. Bye.